you are welcome in this video let us understand how to make movie ticket booking online website using asp.net with c sharp language and backend as a sql server so it's a web application project and we'll show the demo here like how we can make this project step by step fine so if at all if you would like to do a project in asp.net and if you're looking for the title movie ticket booking is a one such title so it's a really good title and you're doing any course like computer science, B, BSc, BCA, any you all need to know like you need to do a project. So therefore this is a good uh, title, movie ticket booking. We can always choose this title to make the project. Fine. So here let us understand what all things we can add up in the project. So as the title is movie ticket booking, so you need to book the movie ticket. So who can book the ticket? So customer can book the ticket. So therefore customer. So then, so here we need to have the movie details. So for then theater or screen details. So which theater and which movie is running? Okay. Then you need to club together. So which theater and what movie is running in that? That we need to allocate. So once it's allocate, customer can able to view this view theater list then they can book the ticket from the particular theater book ticket so once you book the ticket you should have a book list what are the book thing so book list so what are the tickets you have booked that list has to come in case necessary you can cancel the ticket too so therefore if there is a cancel ticket on the admin side so here is a customer list who are all the customers sign up that list should come then booking list So in case there is a cancel, then there is a cancel list. So you can also give a feedback from the admin customer side. Customer can give the feedback. So feedback about like how the service, okay, how your website service and all. So admin can able to view this. So these are the things that are very essential for the online ticket booking. So this is what we are done in this. So I'll show you all these things. So let's see the demo now. And for uh, different projects or you want to view other projects, so you just right click on iBlix tutorials and then open in a new tab. So here if you click videos, you can able to see like lot of project related videos here. And you can also learn the project step by step. So there are videos to explain that. For example, like you know, how to design the website, how to make C sharp project, like how to make vb.net project. So a lot of videos are available here. So when you have free time, so just go through the videos and browse them. And also please subscribe to our channel. So your subscription definitely will help us to bring very good content and good videos. So therefore we are working very hard to bring different projects like how we can do all these things and all. So please follow us and then please subscribe to our channel. Now I'll just take to the uh, Visual Studio. So here is the project title and these are the files which are there in the project. On the other side, you can see this is a server explorer. Here is a database and these are the tables which are using here. Okay, first let us run the project. So we we'll select this and then we can go to IAS and run the project. So it should run via IAS, that is an internet information server. So ASP.NET use the IAS. Fine. So we'll take to the main page. Here is the main page. We can add up more pictures here. So here is a two module. One is the admin module and the other is the customer module. First, I'll go to admin. So in every project, generally login is common thing, right? So here there may be a problem. So okay, so here the problem actually this is the still the old database name. So what you can do is we can replace this with the new database name uh, that is movie ticket data. Sometime like no, if you don't change this, these things will happen. I'll just change this. So I can come back here and then we can see that login. Fine. So we can log in here. So when you log in, there is a screen or theater list. So the details we can enter here. Here is the list. So we have two theaters already. Fine. So the timings and all is just shown here. Then movie details. Okay, I'll go to movie and I'll enter new movie. 
this is Avatar 2 R 2022. So main actors, okay. So let me take main actors. So about the movie details, I just have collections here. So I just copy this. Right. So then you need to upload the file here. So choose file. So I just go to D drive. So this is out our uh, movie. Save this. So record saved successfully. So we enter the one movie details. Now we need to assign this. So we go to author 2022 and this is the studio first show. Uh, from date, uh, let's say, okay, from today to next 31st, save. So then you can say second show, save this. We can, you have to save for every show actually. What are the shows are there? You need to show for all the shows. Like that you need to assign this. So next is the view ticket booking. So then cancel ticket booking feedback list. That customer has to do. Therefore, I can copy the main address. I'll take to one more tab, enter. So here you can continue. So is a new customer sign up. You have to sign up here. So if you already sign up, then you can able to log in here. Let me log in with A1A1. A1. Right. So check movies. So all movie list, uh, movie screen wise. So here it show that Avatar 2, the details will be shown here. Then you can go to book ticket. Choose the date, what date you want. <coughs> So here is the movies. So I'll select this one. Fine. So you enter the quantity, two tickets. The price will come here. Okay, the total price will come again. So this is a dummy payment. So therefore paid using CAN card. Uh, then you can write transaction number. Fine. So you can book the ticket now. There is one more problem. Okay. So let me press enter key. Uh, we select the gold class. So four tickets. Okay. Fine. So that is expired. Means the login ID is expired. So now we can we can book it here. So go to this, so select this, then select the class, select the tickets. Now paid using CAN card, transaction number, right. So book ticket. So now, so if you book this, so book number 1002, the ticket is booked, fine. So then there is a personal details of yours that is there and feedback. Uh, you can give the feedback here so that will reach the admin. So now if you come back to admin you can see view booking list. So for which date it is on 14th. So two tickets are booked so therefore that admin can able to view this. So now in case if you don't want ticket so you can go to cancel ticket. So you need to enter the ticket number. So ticket is cancelled. Now if you see cancel ticket numbers. So 1002 that is cancelled. So that will show the cancelled ticket and then feedback list. If some user send the feedback, the admin can able to view the feedback. So therefore from the customer side, we can able to book the tickets. So book ticket for which date you want. So you can select the date and you can show movies. So here is a list. So which show you want, you can select this and what class. So you can select the class number of tickets you want and then so how do you make the payment that you have to do? because it's a dummy payment. So you can book the ticket. So once you click that, it will generate the ticket number and then your tick book is your ticket is booked. So if you go to cancel ticket and then if you give the ticket number, you can be able to cancel this. So these are the options which are provided here. So hope you understand the concept and we have separate videos like how to write this program step by step. Uh, for example, you can see that how to create the database in our videos, how to create a login page, how to create a a lot of videos are there. Please, when you have free time, please go through it and browse the videos. So you definitely get the benefit. In case if you have any doubt, please write it in the comment box. So we try to help you out on this. Thank you very much.